Hello aviation enthusiasts, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take a journey through the skies and time to explore the 10 fastest aircraft ever in the world. Buckle up, because we're about to break the sound barrier. Before we start, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Now, let's get started. 10. We have the Bell X-1, the first aircraft to break the sound barrier in level flight. Manufactured by Bell Aircraft in the United States in 1947, this rocket engine-powered aircraft reached a top speed of 700 miles per hour, or Mach 1.06. The Bell X-1 was a joint NACA U.S. Army Air Forces, U.S. Air Force supersonic research project, and the first of the so-called X-planes of the United States. The design was a bullet-shaped plane that was built to minimize aerodynamic drag and featured a pioneering rocket engine designed by Reaction Motors Incorporated. the most famous of the X-1 series was the glamorous Glenis, piloted by Chuck Giger, who named it after his wife. The Bell X-1's historic flight marked a turning point in aviation, setting the stage for future supersonic and hypersonic aircraft. The X-1's legacy lives on today as it laid the groundwork for the modern understanding of aerodynamics and the design of high-speed aircraft. At number 9, we have the Mikoyan MiG-25. This Soviet interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft, built in 1964, could reach a top speed of 1,159 miles per hour, or match 2.83. It was designed to counter high-altitude threats like the American U-2 spy plane. The MiG-25 was one of the fastest military aircraft to enter service, it was the last plane designed by Rostislav Apolosovich Belyakov, the successor of the famous Soviet aircraft designer Artyom Ivanovich Mikoyan. The MiG-25 made many flights over Israel, Egypt, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia, which caused much concern in the West. The aircraft's capabilities were better understood in 1976 when a Soviet pilot defected to Japan with his MiG-25. The MiG-25's design and capabilities had a significant influence on later aircraft, including its successor, the MiG-31. The MiG-25 remains one of the fastest combat aircraft ever produced, and its high-speed, high-altitude capabilities continue to be respected in the aviation world. At number 8, we have the XB-70 Valkyrie, a prototype version of the planned B-70 nuclear-armed, deep-penetration strategic bomber. Manufactured by North American Aviation in the United States in 1964, this aircraft could reach a top speed of 1864 miles per hour, or MAX 3.1. The XB-70 was unique in its design with a canard surface and a delta wing, which reduced drag and allowed it to maintain its speed. The aircraft was equipped with six engines capable of propelling it to 70,000 feet, but it was not immune to accidents. A devastating mid-air collision in 1966 destroyed one of the only two prototypes ever built. Despite its short-lived career, the XB-70 provided valuable data on supersonic flight and materials for high-speed aircraft. The XB-70 was an ambitious project that aimed to create a high-altitude, high-speed bomber that could outrun any potential threat. While the XB-70 never entered operational service, its design and performance capabilities continue to inspire and inform current aircraft design. The Mikoyan MiG-31, another Soviet creation, comes in at number 7. This interceptor aircraft, built in 1975, could reach a top speed of 2052 miles per hour, or match 2.83. It was designed to replace the earlier MiG-25. The MiG-31 was the world's first operational fighter with a phased array radar and remains one of the few with such a radar. The aircraft has seen action in several conflicts and is still in service in the Russian Air Force. The MiG-31's advanced radar and weapon systems allow it to operate effectively in the vast expanses of Russia, providing a critical line of defense. The MiG-31 is a testament to Soviet engineering capabilities, and its unique design and advanced systems make it one of the most formidable interceptor aircraft in the world. At number 6, we have the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. This long-range, high-altitude, Mach 3 plus strategic reconnaissance aircraft was built by Lockheed Martin in the United States in 1964. It could reach a top speed of 2,193 miles per hour, or max 3.3. The SR-71 was designed with a reduced radar cross-section and served as a precursor to future stealth aircraft. Its titanium skin could withstand the heat generated by its high speed, turning blue-black as it heated. 
The SR-71 was in service for more than 34 years, during which it gathered innumerable reconnaissance data. Despite 12 Blackbirds being lost out of 32 built, none were lost to enemy action thanks to its incredible speed and altitude capabilities. The SR-71 remains an icon of American aerospace engineering. Its unique design, advanced materials, and groundbreaking engine technology have made it a subject of study and admiration among aviation enthusiasts and professionals alike. Breaking into the top five, we have the X-15, this hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft. Built by North American Aviation in the United States in 1959, could reach a top speed of 4,520 miles per hour, or Mach 6.7. The X-15 holds the official world record for the highest speed ever reached by a manned aircraft. Its main role was to gather data on aerodynamics, weather, and the physiological aspects of high-speed, high-altitude flight. A total of 12 pilots were selected for the program, including future astronauts Neil Armstrong and Joe Engel. The X-15 program contributed to the development of the space shuttle and provided valuable data on hypersonic flight. The X-15's flights were a daring exploration of the upper reaches of the Earth's atmosphere and the edge of space, and the data gathered during its flights continues to be valuable to scientists and engineers. At number 4, we have X-43, an experimental unmanned hypersonic aircraft with multiple planned scale variations meant to test various aspects of hypersonic flight. Built by NASA in the United States in 2004, it reached a top speed of 7,166 miles per hour or Mach 9.6, making it the fastest aircraft to fly within the Earth's atmosphere. The X-43 was part of NASA's HyperX program, which aimed to develop technology for flights at hypersonic speeds. The X-43 used a scringed engine, which has no moving parts and relies on the speed of the aircraft to compress incoming air for combustion. Its successful flight was a significant milestone in the development of hypersonic technology. The X-43's flights were a testament to the potential of hypersonic technology and the importance of experimental aircraft in advancing aerospace technology. The bronze medal goes to HTV-2, an unmanned scramjet demonstration aircraft. It was developed by DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency in the United States. In 2011, it achieved a top speed of 13,000 miles per hour or Mach 17.53, during a brief flight before it lost control and crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The HTV-2 was part of a research program to develop hypersonic technology, which could potentially be used for delivering military strikes around the world within minutes. The HTV-2's flights, while short-lived, provided valuable data on the challenges of hypersonic flight, including aerodynamics, materials, and thermal protection. The HTV-2's flights were a bold experiment in the limits of speed and technology, and its legacy continues to inform current research into hypersonic technology. The silver medalist on our list is the Space Shuttle. This partially reusable low-Earth orbital spacecraft system was built by NASA in the United States in 1981. It could reach a top speed of 17,543 miles per hour or match 23. However, it's worth noting that this speed was achieved in space not within the Earth's atmosphere. The Space Shuttle was a remarkable piece of engineering that carried out numerous important missions during its service life. From launching the Hubble Space Telescope to building the International Space Station, the Space Shuttle was central to many of humanity's space achievements. The Space Shuttle program also tragically lost two of its orbiters, Challenger and Columbia, in devastating accidents that reshaped the future of manned spaceflight. The Space Shuttle was a symbol of the American space program for over 30 years, and its design and capabilities have left a lasting legacy on the field of space exploration. And finally, the gold medal for the fastest aircraft ever goes to the Apollo Command Module. Built by NASA in the United States, the spacecraft was part of the Apollo program, which landed the first humans on the moon. During re-entry from lunar missions, the command module could reach speeds of 24,800 miles per hour or match 33. However, like the Space Shuttle, this speed was achieved in space, not within the Earth's atmosphere. The Apollo Command Module was a critical part of the Apollo spacecraft, providing living quarters for the crew during most of the lunar mission. It also served as a safe haven for re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The Apollo program was a monumental achievement in human history, demonstrating the power of human ingenuity and the drive to explore beyond our own planet. The Apollo Command Module's design and performance capabilities were a testament to the technological achievements of the time. And there you have it, folks.
the 10 fastest aircraft ever in the world. From breaking the sound barrier to reaching the moon, these incredible machines have pushed the boundaries of what's possible in aviation and space travel. Each of these aircraft has a unique story, reflecting the era, the country, and the people who designed and built them. They represent the pinnacle of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of speed and performance. These aircraft have not only broken records but also barriers in technology and understanding. They have expanded our knowledge of aerodynamics, materials, propulsion systems, and the challenges of flight at extreme speeds and altitudes. They have paved the way for new generations of aircraft, both manned and unmanned, and continue to inspire engineers, pilots, and all of us who look up at the sky with wonder. As we stand on the brink of a new era in aviation and space travel, with the promise of hypersonic commercial flights and a return to the moon, we look back at these incredible machines with awe and gratitude. They remind us of how far we have come and inspire us to dream of how far we can go. If you enjoyed this journey through the history of speed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We have many more fascinating stories to tell about the world of aviation and space exploration. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.